represent neural actor, a new method for free view synthesis of human actors which allows arbitrary pose control. Given the sequence of driving poses, as well as a virtual camera as input, our method can synthesize realistic animations of the actor with pose and view dependent dynamic appearance, sharp features, and high fidelity winkle patterns. We can freely change the viewpoint for rendering. Neural Actor generalizes well to unseen poses, which starkly differ from the ones in the training. Here we show a challenging dancing performance from the AIST dataset, which was not seen during training. Note that our method also generalizes well to novel views. Since our method only requires a skeletal pose, we can apply the same pose to different people, allowing effects like synchronous crowd dancing. We can also control the body shape of the synthesized human actors. Neural Actor learns a template guided deformable neural radiance field from multi view videos. As training data, we use two sequences from the DeepCap dataset, two sequences from the DynaCap dataset. In addition, we also captured four sequences in a multi view green screen studio with calibrated cameras. Since we are only interested in foreground synthesis, we use color keying to extract foreground in each image. The input poses to our method are extracted from the video frames using an off-the-shelf motion capture system. Our method leverages the SMPL model as a 3D proxy. Given the skeletal pose, we synthesize images by sampling points along camera arrays near the posed SMPL mesh. For each sample point X, we unpose it based on its closest surface point and predict a residual deformation to move X to the canonical pose space. We then learn the radiance field in the canonical pose space to predict the color and density for X using 2D supervision. The pose-dependent residual deformation and view-dependent color are predicted from the location of X, along with the feature of the nearest surface point of X, which is extracted from 2D texture map. At training time, we use the ground truth texture map generated from multi-view training images to extract the features of the surface points. At test time, the texture map is predicted from the normal map, which is extracted from the pose SMPL mesh via an image translation network. This network is trained separately with the ground truth texture map as supervision. We mainly compare our method with four state-of-the-art neural rendering methods on two tasks, playback and novel pose synthesis. These four methods are Nerf plus pose, neural volumes, neural body, and multi-view neural human rendering. We observe that on the playback task, these four methods produce blurry artifacts when encoding a large number of frames, 20,000 frames for example, into one network. Furthermore, these four baseline methods are not able to generalize to new poses. Their results are blurry and often have missing body parts, while our results have detailed wrinkles and dynamic appearance which are close to the ground truth. We further compare with a recent mesh-based method, Real-Time Deep Dynamic Characters, or DDC for short. More specifically, we compare to the original work, which requires a person-specific template, and the variant of it where we replace the template with the SMPL model. While DDC works well with this person-specific template, it cannot trivially work with the SMPL model since the initial template geometry is too different from the geometry of the real actor, resulting in geometric artifacts. Our method is also related to a recent learning-based method, Textured Neural Avatar. However, the code and data of this method are not publicly available. Different from our method, Textured Neural Avatar is unable to synthesize the dynamic appearance of humans. Moreover, their results are not view consistent and often suffer from artifacts like missing body parts. Here we show an ablation result. We compare our full model to without texture map, and without geometry guidance. Without the texture map as input, the result is blurry. 
Directly learning full deformations without the SMPL geometry as guidance is difficult and leads to distortion artifacts. In contrast, our proposed design choice offered the best accuracy and captures high fidelity details such as cloth wrinkles. Here we visualize some reenactment results. First, we show the results generated by using the test poses of our capture data as driving poses. The left top is the input driving poses, and the left bottom shows a reference video of the driving person. Note that the reference video itself is only used for visualization. It is not an input to our method, as we only use the skeletal pose as input. The right side is our synthesized result. As one can see, our method can synthesize high-quality results with dynamic appearance and sharp features for various challenging poses. With only a coarse SMPL model as 3D proxy, our model is able to reconstruct different apparels with detailed dynamic features. Here we show a result of driving different people with the same poses. We can see the pose-dependent deformations and textures in each result. Here we use the challenging dancing motion from the AIST dataset as driving poses. Even though these poses are very different from the training poses, our method produces visually plausible results. The body parts are well preserved and the dynamic deformations and appearance are properly synthesized. Here we show more reenactment results. Finally, we show a free viewpoint video of the person controlled by driving poses. Note the changes of view-dependent appearance on clothes and skins. Our method also supports shape control in the synthesis of human actors. As shown here, we can modify the shape parameter of the SMPL template to synthesize animations of human actors in different shapes. This technique is very useful for the film industry. For example, we are able to synthesize animations of a giant or dwarf by modifying the shape parameters of any actor, without the need of finding the actual human in that shape. Thank you for watching.